Hanukkah celebrates the miraculous victory of the Maccabees, a small group of Jews who fought the greatest world power against all odds. They reclaimed the temple and then lit the one remaining flask of pure oil, which burned for eight days. Today, we light the menorah to remember the miracle. Honestly, this is so odd. A small group of Jews win a war against the superpower of the day. And the entire focus of the holiday is on the flame? Why? I got an answer on a recent men's Israel trip. We were 200 guys from all backgrounds. And two of the leaders on the trip were lawyers who offered a free pair of tefillin to anyone who doesn't own tefillin and commits to putting them on for 40 days. Mark was one of the guys from Toronto and he was so inspired by the gesture that he decided he was gonna put on tefillin in honor of his own son's upcoming bar mitzvah. At age 51, Mark got his first pair of tefillin. He was so excited. Leading up to the bar mitzvah, Mark and his son went to do chesed at a local hospital. They went from room to room visiting patients. And this is where they met a 95-year-old man. They approached his bedside and he starts telling them about his life. At one point, the elderly man said, you know, I haven't put on tefillin in 40 years. And as he said the word tefillin, his eyes welled up with tears. You can tell how precious the mitzvah was to him. Mark said, you know, I just got my first pair of tefillin. Do you want me to bring them and help you put them on? The man's face lit up. He was reignited. And now, Mark's tefillin, which were inspired by two lawyers from New York, which were intended for a 51-year-old man in Toronto, will be placed on a 95-year-old dying man as one of his last requests. You know, we're taught Ner Hashem Nishmas Adam, that the candle of God is man's soul, that man's soul is like a flame. Those two lawyer souls were burning bright with a passion to care about their Jewish brothers and sisters. They inspired and kindled Mark's soul, who then passed the torch and kindled the soul of a dying man. Perhaps this is why Hanukkah focuses on the flame and not the miracle of the war. Because the flame represents continuity. A candle has the power to ignite another. And no matter how many candles a flame lights, the original flame is never diminished. The flame just keeps on burning. Every neshama, every soul that is ignited and inspired has the power to kindle another. On Hanukkah, we're not only inspired by the miraculous victory, but we're reminded to take that inspiration and touch another soul and light up the world. This Hanukkah, don't just light the menorah. Light it, burn bright in your soul, and ignite another Jew. Happy Hanukkah.